Welcome to the installing FTDI D2XX drivers on Mac OS video. The first installation step is to download the drivers from the FTDI chip website. These can be found on the left hand side. By clicking on D2XX drivers and scrolling down the page you will find the Mac OS driver. You will also find the D2XX helper kernel extension. Navigating to our downloads folder we can find the D2XX drivers. Once extracted, we can move the D2XX folder to the desktop. From here we can open the terminal utility and navigate to the installation folder, users local lib. If it doesn't exist, we can create this folder and then navigate to it. The next step is to copy the D2XX library file into this folder and finally make a version independent symbolic link to this library. The D2XX drivers are now installed and you may link to them in your build by using the following. The driver package includes samples which we will navigate to now. These can be built using the make command. To test one of the samples we will connect an FT232R device to our machine. From here we will temporarily unload the Apple VCP driver. This will allow us to access the device using the D2XX drivers. From here we can run the EEPROM read sample application. If you are running Mac OS 10.11 or above you may wish to install the D2XX helper kernel extension. This prevents Apple's VCP driver from claiming any devices which use a default FTDI VID PID combination. Navigate to downloads, double click on D2XX helper.package and run the installer. Thank you for watching this video on how to install the D2XX drivers on macOS.